After doing the video, the last upgrade, the Intel rows, I discovered that the system would occasionally become unstable. It got so bad that one day, it refused to boot. As this was my main rig, I decided it was time to swap around systems. I took my media system, the Black Rose 2, which I covered in Linux Audio Happiness Two Ways video, upgraded the RAM, the CPU, and swapped video cards with the Intel Rhodes. I am now using that as my main rig. So after all that work, I downgraded the system back to its original i5-750 and the stock cooler. It was stable once again, but after nearly 12 years, it was time to retire the system. Or not. Since I've been running the original BIOS all this time, I decided to go investigate a BIOS update. It took some searching since the motherboard is ancient and no longer supported. So I found what I hoped would be the correct BIOS and downloaded it. If I bricked the motherboard with a bad BIOS, oh well. But the BIOS update went smoothly and the Xenon chip went back in. Maybe I should have done the BIOS update before trying to upgrade. I installed the Arctic Freezer with a non-broken fan, and I have Xenon goodness again. But is it stable now? How to test it? The Folding at Home project is dedicated to understanding protein folding, the diseases that result from protein misfolding, and novel computation methods to develop new drugs in general. It's a distributed computing project running calculations on millions of PCs. They're working on lots of ailments. You download a work unit, run the simulation, and the program automatically uploads the simulation and downloads a new work unit. I got interested because they added COVID-19 to their research, and I have a family history of cancer. Depending on how you set up the program, it can run your CPU hard. Cool! Let's do this! The Folding at Home website has downloads for Windows, Raspberry Pi, Macs, and various flavors of Linux. If you're running Linux, check your distro's repositories first. The downloads for Debian Ubuntu on the website are out of date. Since this is an older system, we'll start by using 4 out of the 8 available threads for folding and set the strength of folding to minimum. We're using P-Sensor to keep track of the temperatures. The ambient temperature of the room was about 20 degrees Celsius. After five minutes of folding, things are looking good. After three and a half hours of folding, the system seems stable, but the temperatures are a little hot in my opinion. But when I was using the hacked fan in the original video, the temperatures were cooler because the fan was running constantly. It was noisy, but cooler is better. So let's swap the hacked fan in. Yes, it does seem a bit cooler. And the trend seems to hold after five minutes. After five hours, yes, the temperatures are significantly lower with the hacked fan. I could get even lower temperatures by bringing down the ambient temperature. Maybe not here. Eventually the system will go down into the basement where it's generally cooler. So loaded up again with the hacked Arctic Freezer 12 and the Xenon X3470, the Intel Rose is retired, but it's a working retirement. So if you have a retired system collecting dust, load up folding at home and join in the fight against your most hated disease. Dance, my pretty proteins, fold for me. Bwahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah